what a storyline for these squads. Overpass going to be the first map in this series. And I can't wait to get this started, Hugo. Yeah, let's do it. No Astralis, no Na'Vi, no Vitality, no top three players in the world, but maybe some new names to that list. It's Spirit Gambit, and we're right into the action. It's a T-side start for Gambit, their home map, and they're going fast. They're going ferocious, and they're running through the monster with a pick from Shiro. Dex is going to get flashed in, and everyone's blind. Mir even aggressing from behind, and Spirit have traded three for three. Mir backing up to reset as he waits for Gambit to get onto the site. Oh, Chopper down here needs to land something. He's getting swarmed, and there's Axile from the short side. It's left to Mir, and he can't get past them. Axile with three kills to begin the pistol. And Gambit, they hit the ground running here on their map pick. Looking to get off to a good start. Nice flashes into Monster, it's yeah. got to be said, but Team Spirit not able to capitalize on them. Great responses from the Gambit crew. I love how they just kind of rush down these players in the site. They don't give them any room to work with. And that's a dominant start built up early on. Yeah, definitely hoping for more from Dexter, as you say, right, with, with three, four players blinded in front of him. If he can get a couple more kills, maybe it's a round for Spirit. But nonetheless, you've got to deal with what you've got. And it's a scouts in round number two for Spirit. Only one AK for Gambit. They're going fast, though. Look at these MAC-10s charging up long. Timing is everything in this map. And Dexter, does he know how deep Nafani's gotten? Because if he starts to discount this long position, he can get wrapped through the toilets. Gambit are going very quick, and Dexter knows his timings. He's back up to the site already, and he will be able to spot these players with a quick peek off the scout. There's something in terms of the tag. That's the bomb as well. Huge amount of information for Spirit to grab so early in the round, but it might not matter as the rotates can't be found because Gambit are already into the site. Oh, and Nafani's just charging Dexter out of the round. Some Die Young is dropped on the con rotation as well to make matters even worse. And with the smoke now falling here, Team Spirit are cut off. Axile not missing a beat. And this is looking like a save, just having to give up this A bomb site gambit. Looking ferocious. They lock in this second round. And for Spirit, all they're hoping to do is hold on to these scouts, hold on to these uh these armored players. Very, very fast, very explosive from Gambit. And man, I mean, like, what a way for this semi-final to go for both of these teams. The fact that it's these two facing each other, right? These two have had, like, a, a bit of a back and forth recently. Yeah. Gambit winning the majority of those, interestingly enough. I love the duel of Shiro versus Dexter. Oh. Magics don't survive there. He spammed through the wall and then finished off by the Mac 10 on Hobbit. Yeah, this is going to be an explosive game, right? It always is when you pit two CIS teams against each other, but in such a high stakes matchup as well, that's that's what makes the money, Harry. That's what brings all the attention because this is going to be one hell of a game. Worth noting as well, the confidence factor is there for Gamut. We're already seeing it out of the gate. Two very fast rounds to start. And as mentioned by Yanko on the desk, I mean, these, these guys lost back-to-back -back overpass games at this event to EG and Heroic. It still didn't deter them picking it against Na'Vi and taking a win there. And now they brought it into the semis as well. Gambit it to be feared, and Spirit are learning that the hard way. Only pistols in this round, aside from the saved scout. But one of these two pistols, or one of these saved pistols rather, might be able to find something off the boost. Axel's further than maybe Spirit are ready for, but jump spot of the barrels could gain info. Mir with a check, and well, that was the one player you're really relying on on this B-bomb site to get anything done. They do take the Deagle but no armor. And again, Gambit, they've walked up long. Why not? Free real estate, mate. No one here. An empty bomb site and a third round looming as Gambit sneak their way to success. No oh, Hobbit even hears the rotations. He can come in on this late lurk. Nafani's deep within the bank as well, and I don't think Team Spirit are going to be ready for this. Maybe till it's too late. Just tugged, playing it safe. There's the kill. Nice and easy. Whoa. Chopper out of the round. And yeah, the save call coming through again, just trying to uh, to back on off and not give all this money over. But they're getting pincered, right? This was always a doomed round from the offset. You've even got Hobbit still down towards this B bomb site ready. The deal with the last man, but Inters is going to beat him to it. So lots of money made. Nice clean rounds for Gambit as they go 3 and 0 up. And now we have the rifles coming through for Team Spirit. This is where they want to make an impression right away. Yeah. You don't want to let Gambit keep building upon this momentum. Yeah, it's a worry, right? We saw Gambit were, were not scared at all on the CT side versus Na'Vi to get aggressive, to, to play, you know, um, play in the face of Na'Vi in the CT side of Overpass. We're talking pushing monster smokes. We're talking taking that mid. And so Spirit, 
yeah, eyes on them to, to have something on, on their mind out of the gate to maybe try and force some fights rather than let Gamut get all this map control. We see the deep mid molly, one towards B as well. Nafani will charge through as short water control is taken for free. The molly is just a deterrent. Certainly could push with it as a CT, but not wanting to offer up kills. They could be chunky, and it is. Chopper eats them for breakfast, too, to the face. Oh, and the boost is perfect. The lineup sprayed down by Axel, and they can just commit. Why wouldn't you? Mir drops the nade, but they're already up and past it, and Mir can't hit the shots. Axel is on one today. What is Three, happening? looking for the ace. He will lose Nafani, but the B site is empty. Oh, what a team spirit even do here, right? They're, they're hanging around, see if they can get anything to make it worthwhile. But I think they know that this is already shaping up to be a save. As we say, you know, you wanted to hit the ground running if you're team spirit. You wanted to find something in this first rifle round. But instead, Axile just lights them up from the boost. The nades are perfect. And as you say, he's having a lights out performance to begin this game. He's 8-0 right now. Oh my, where there's one, there's another. Inters was just cleared from the toilet, and now Hobbit, he's got kills to find as well. Think about how influential Inters was against Na'Vi, just coming up on these late lurks, these mid flanks, while Gambit were hitting B in that quarterfinal. The AWP, oh, Hobbit skated right by, but Sam Dai Young has the cover. Good turn as he sits behind the smoke. That could have been catastrophic for Spirit's economy. It's still not pretty. Two guns saved as Gambit run away with the fourth, but better than nothing for Spirit. And yeah, they were so ruffled by that that double nade on the barrels. They didn't know where to look. Certainly not the boost. Nice little combo for Gambit, the one-two punch. And also, it kind of plays into the fact that if you get double naded barrels, okay, yeah, well, you've 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 hit you've taken a lot of damage, but they're not going to throw more nades, right? So why change your spot? Why move position? That's why. Yeah, we're already seeing a lot of ideas come to fruition for Gambit, and they haven't been contested yet. Team Spirit, back in with the reinvestment. Chopper on an MP9. Orb still in the hands of Dexter. Saved forward. Decides to peak mid late, and that means that Inters has already gotten up and past them. He's going to go back towards these A fakes. As you mentioned, he was so influential the other day. If you compare the impact that Inters was having on this T side with the A lurk, uh, and then compare that to what we were getting out of Boomich, right, when he was yeah. in that same role on the T side, it was just night and day, man. The difference was was so apparent. You know, Na'Vi were always caught rotating at the wrong times, oh. and it felt like Gambit were in their head. This is interesting. Spirit looking like they want to try and crunch Monster, try to get rid of the pressure here. And they deal with Axel. They put an end to his flawless streak. And now that they know that Gambit can bleed, maybe they're feeling a little more pumped up in this round. Dexter up in this A bomb site. Nafani is nearby. But he doesn't know that yet. Oh, he's re as well. His teammates should have the toilets. He spots a player going down B. There's still a lurk, though, that they might not be ready for. They grab that info, but surely at this point, Spirit know it's going to be a B play. They need to drop rotations pronto. That's a no-scope for Dexter, and it's going to be Gambit charging in two men down. Sam Dai Young just trying to stall. He will die to Hobbit eventually. There's Chopper, rather, a monster. Sam Dai Young drops the bomb instead, and 20 seconds for Gambit to get something done, anything. They're begging for mercy as Dexter sits in heaven with the AWP as well. He is smoked off, but Hobbit getting a plant is not going to be realistic as Mia lines up two towards short and spirit. Nice bit of aggression. It was about time, right? I, I think what's key there is is the escape through connector. Some die young is down lower, but he hears Gambit get out mid. He knows they're in con. He knows they're in mid. He knows Dexter isn't supporting him, so he drops the smoke. He jumps out the door, and luckily Magix had already taken that short water position, so he's at least joined by a teammate into safe haven, and then that monster push to not only get the advantage early but to send players back up on the a rotate that eventually gets in the info it's back and forth and back again for team spirit but at least they get on the board oh and they're wow. still trying to contest this short control mere Hiding in the smoke, playing around it, taking a wide swing. And even though he's flashed off the angle, he still hits a very good timing. Now, there is a second man here that Mir is not made aware of. Nafani blindsides him. And this is where you were hoping a trade was going to be available. Some die young, smoked off in the connector, allows Hobbit to push on up. While this is happening, Inters is still working some of his magic over here towards Long. 
out to four on four early in the round. And so Gambit, they just kind of bring it to a bit of a screeching halt. They don't give any information over. Ooh. And they start to stack up over here at oh, B, no. but a boost employed down beneath Chopper. That's where Nafani is. He gets the spot, gets the kill, and puts it back in favor of Team Spirit. Gambit still leaning over here towards B. Flashes are in, and Chopper is looking to get aggressive with them. Uh-oh. Miss Molly, not ideal. They have a lot more room now at Monster, and Inters uses that to his full advantage on the entry. Even though the flashes are good at delaying the take from Gambit, they are still making a bit of headway over here towards B. Bomb's actually going up connector. No way, Shiro. He's Surely. playing for the clutch. He's yeah, playing for the one-on-three right 16 points of health. It's a ballsy decision to have made. They've oh, fallen for it. Yeah. Uh, actually, wait a minute. They hear the footsteps now. They hear the running. They start to rotate up. Sumdai Young is going to deal with both players down in oh, B. It's big. And the nade might be good enough. There it is. Even though the bomb plant comes through, <laughs> they play for the clutch on Shiro. A Dexter denies it with the utility. A big nade. And an orb retrieved. Yeah, he might be calling to come get the second orb if they want it, but just sticking with the AK for now. That's, uh, yeah, that's great for Dexter. He hears the footsteps, as you say. I, I think Shiro could have walked a little longer and he might have had time to get away in the post plant, but Dexter hears everything and a massive hole from Sun Young and B. He just never peeks, right? He hides in the water. Gambit are desperately looking for the kills, but Team Spirit, no, with 15 seconds, they think the bomb's B. They just don't have to give away the kills. Once that realization sets in, Chopper swings and kills two, and at that point, Dexter's already ready with the artillery strike on A. I am I. Spirit, full of surprises. They won't let Gambit sneak one through the net. Four to two, and finally Gambit's money is starting to look susceptible. The loss, it's a pistol for Axel. They still have the AWP at least. And plenty of rifles for the time being. Flashing out mid. And a methodical mid take. Gambit have been centered towards B in most of these rounds out of spawn, right? Running a default, one com, one A, and then three, taking that water or monster control. Right now, it's a complete switch up. So our spirit ready for the change. Some die young in the toilets, Dexter orping. And this is big info for Mira as well, right? Getting this short water, especially uncontested. You know that Gambit don't have that many players towards B. At most, they're hiding outside a monster. But Spirit have shown that they're not fearful of pushing the limits through these tunnels. And once again, they're crunching the B site right now. It might be too little too late. Gambit could just commit into A, but at least Spirit know what's coming. Yeah, you're going to see an early rotation out of Magix and Mir as a result of this information. So these players getting up into position ahead of time, that's something that could really give Team Spirit the upper hand here. As both players are given a nice berth to get up into Ooh, this A bomb yeah. site. Axile, Deegs out Dexter. Magix burns alive from 100 to 0 in the Molotov on Dicebox. I don't know how that's just happened. Gambit, they've broken apart this four-man stacked A bomb site without even losing a point of health. Finally, the first man falls for Gambit, but it's Axal all the way down in Connector. He's not even really getting to play into the round. So Mir tossed in oh. an impossible retake is canceled out by Nafani. And Chopper's still aggressing up, but I imagine we just see him, you know, turn around, pull the 180 and look to save in this situation. He doesn't want to have to commit to it, but doesn't really have any other choice at this point in time. No okay, kit. It's not like he can even play for a ninja defuse. He's going to just have to hold, and he will survive in this position on full HP, but this is still not the round the spirit wanted by any means. Very what, weird. What happened to Magix as well? Yeah. Like, so Dexter pushes short and dies to the Deeg, uh, and then Magix, 100 HP on the dice box, just burns to death. Yeah. Your guess is as good as mine. This is weird from Dexter. He he wasn't like looking ready to be scoped up, looking for a fight. I don't know what the... Oh, okay. oh it spreads around the box. He's trying to remain hidden from long and short. And it goes all the way around the box. That's so unfortunate. I think Matrix is like one of these potential linchpins of this game for Team Spirit, right? I think, uh, you know, with him being the youngest player here, you know, these are the moments where, where stress, the idea of, you know, this being probably the most important game you've ever played, right, can really start to get to you. And with deaths like that, dying to a Molotov from 100, you are going to be feeling that pressure in a big oh, way. Boy. Now down 0-7. Magic's dropped again at the first hurdle, and with it, the entire B site given over to Gambit. 
It might just have to be another save yeah. immediately called for Team Spirit. These great rounds are again, but they've got the read on the game right now. Nafni, he gives a lot of credit to, to supporting cars, to Hobbit and Shura especially, but man, whatever he's saying to the team, it's working. They are finding every gap in the armor, every empty bomb site. And even when spirits seemingly know what's going on, that doesn't seem to be enough. Gambit up to six, and with five alive as well, they salvage their economy for just that little bit longer. Spirit at least can rebuy, right? They they have no fear in investing in a round like this. They've got the loss bonus. And regardless of what weapon magic is on, the rest of them are armed well. I mean, an M4 can even be dropped over, so it's not a concern of Spirit to this point. But getting a round is lacking it on the CT side. And if Gambit run away with, with you know, 10-5 half or something, Spirit are going to be real worse for wear on Gambit's best map or go-to. Smooth stuff. Something that is scary as well is we haven't even had to see Shiro really do anything no. yet, right? Like he's one and two. He's seen three people in this game. That's a nice feeling. Yeah, right. It's just the rest of the gang getting the job done. And you can see Team Spirit, because of how Gambit have been, like with the constant pace changes, you never really know when a push is like a fake or a commitment. You're kind of just taking a few gambles out of spawn, like in that previous round with Magic's alone in B. This time, three players here. Nafani is through short mid. Head on a swivel is quick to react, but there is Shiro with the trade. And now they're seeping in through Monster. Chopper desperately trying to step up here. He knows he's got to be the difference maker. The flashes start to rain over. No one's pressured him yet. Silence falls over here towards B. Exter with the wide swing. There's another man nearby, and Chopper's going to cancel him out. It's Shiro left up in the clutch. We know this guy's clutches have been <laughs> something else. So don't underestimate him, Team Spirit. Holding a monster. He does get past Chopper, that first line of defense. You don't want to give Shiro too many 1v1s here. He's somehow always good to capitalize on them, and he's just waiting right now. 30 seconds. There's no harm in saving if you're Shiro. As good as the clutches have been, some rounds are just too far gone, and this might be one of them. Yeah, it's a round where if he gets fed monster, he'll go for it, but there's no way the Spirit are going to make that mistake right. They rotate Dexter up in case Shiro's gone for the full wrap round, but with Chopper tucked on the right side, Shiro knows clearing monster is so difficult. Sam Young is even going for the gun. He's planning for the save, and he knows exactly where Shiro sat. Will this work, Wando? Shiro seems aware of the possibility, and he might just tuck behind the boxes. Oh, it's going to have to be a spam for Sunday Young, and he's not moving fast enough. Here it comes, but a bit of doubt at the end, and probably the right call, right? Like, even though that was a, there was a chance of the wall bang, you don't want to lose your own gun in a situation like that. Spirit are only just getting back on the board. They're only just building up their money. Sometimes keeping players alive is more important than killing your opponents, and that's an example of it. Nice hole from Spirit, though, on B, right? Gambit, they go in with no flashes. They try and contact play. It's what worked the round prior, but that was only because Magix was alone on B. He peeks out, he dies. The round's over at that point, but Spirit actually have an entourage uh, down in that lower bomb site. So not as free this time around for Gambit. And back to the drawing board, I think. Yeah, Magic's also broke his silent streak in yeah. that round there, right? So so hopefully we can see him step it back up and, you know, start to find his footing here. Oh, yeah, going to get a double con push from Team Spirit. They've got two here, the AWP on Dexter accompanying Sundar Young down into the connector and they boost him early on. He can watch mid from this. This is a dirty little setup, right? Two players ready to play off of one another. You see Dexter, and while you try and chase that AWP down, Sunday Young has got his back. 
It's not going to be easy. Are they ready for this boost? Gambit giving oh. it a look in, and Hobbit just domes him. Dexter out of the round, and now they now they suspect that there could be a second player here, right? Someone had to put Dexter up in that position, so they molly off the connector. Some die young is locked out of the round, and Chopper having a rotate in quickly is thrown out into the open. This is another save, Gambit. They're ending the rounds that they win within the first kill that they get. It feels like you know yeah. they they get one. They're so quick to capitalize. They know that they're ahead of team spirit in that situation there and so it's another round just written off for the spirit boys yeah even though you can actually jump on that uh on on, on that uh shelving i guess like without a boost yeah it, it seems pretty obvious to gambit like someone holding an orb there there's no way he's not watching bottom con like there's no way he's leaving such a, an integral piece of the map just open and hoping he doesn't get walk cleared so yeah good read from gambit there's a second player there and that molotov just denies the air rotate i was getting scared when i saw that setup because we think about the amount of rounds that gambit just walked out long like it's how they started this game just going up long on the anti-ecos clearing the mta site and so spirit could have hit bad timings there if they're double set up in connector but it doesn't even matter dexter just gets deleted by hobbit and gambit just run the gravy train all the way to the a site no contest no rotate no chance for spirit gambit are ready for no matter what gets put up against them Oh, aggression into short water again. But the molly is tagged chopper low. This could give a kill over. And indeed it does. Short control now grabbed by Gambit, but they don't take it yet. Instead, they just take the five on four. They're pretty content with that. And they keep Mir off the angle with these flashes. So he doesn't even really have information as to what's going on at short. And right away, you know, the immediate call to head back up towards this A site. And this is the problem with Gambit, right? As I say, constant pace changes out of them. You know, one round they'll get a kill and suddenly they explode into the bomb site. They get that killer and, you know, you're always caught mid-rotation. Other rounds, they'll get this kill and then the whole map just goes completely silent and Spirit have no idea where Gambit can be right about now. Yeah. The entire map covered in the, uh, in the fog of war for Team Spirit. They rotate up a third man into this A bomb site. All they've really got is to take a bit of a gamble in a situation like this. And with how it's shaping up, that gamble could pay off. Three players in the right place at the right time. Dexter, we want him to deliver on this AWP. He's going to have to if Spirit want to get this round in the bag. Flashes out through long, leave Dexter blind. They get close, and there's that AWP in with the first, but a lot more bodies around this corner. Dexter, they're rushing him down, and everyone inside of A is just kicked to the curb by Gambit. Magic's left up all alone in the 1v3. And not being given any room to play with. I think Shiro heard the footsteps there as well, Magic's. Emerging from the bank does clear out the first map, but sitting at the truck idly by is Hobbit, ready and waiting to get this trade locked in. Magix has still managed to get pretty deep, but it's a false sense of security. Hobbit swings out late and even retrieves that AWP. Gambit continue to put up this very, very competitive T side without much standing in their way from Team Spirit. Yeah, even though Spirit again had the read, right? Like early that looked a bit a bit scary for Spirit with Gambit going back up to A, but the silence is is telling enough for Spirit. They go, surely, surely this is an A end, right? With no one outside Monster. Me gets a bit of a peek into B water, and that's enough info for Spirit to make the risky call. It doesn't matter. They just can't hold on to the bomb site right now, no matter how many players. And Gambit just proven to be quite the foe, quite the opponent set towards monster again is this going to be another contact play shira's at least got a flash this time around there's a heavy barrel setup no molly for it dexter not blinded though behind the pillar and he can pick up uh kills left right and center can't find the second but magic uh, magic's trades not used to that one it's going to be inters dropping the molotov as well to force him out of position and someday young comes down connector clearing hobbit things are looking better for spirit already two on four for gambit though never count them out of rounds like this they're going to reset and wait for aggression, wait for Spirit to give them something. But already peeling back towards A is Chopper, and Sam Young isn't far from it. Yeah, 
Shiro is still hanging around at B with the bomb, but he decides to uh, to go back and rejoin Inters over here at A. Gambit, they do have like 2v2s at either bomb site, right? So there is still a chance that this round gets out of hand. Sumdai Young going up through the long toilets and Shiro has seen him. Now Inters turns back to go and deal with this man in the toilet and he's just waiting. He knows that this kill is going to come his way eventually. Sumdai Young's about to get blindsided and now this A bomb site. Oh dear, the rotations are having to come through for Team Spirit. Chopper, one man against it all for the time being as they're moving up through CT and he just wants to stay alive. He just wants to buy time. Smoke down at Dumpster. Inter's given a little more room to work with, but there's the swing onto Shiro. And with only seven seconds left, Chopper navigates that one to perfection. Yeah, I mean, this is uh, this is one of the big brains of CIS, right? This is a guy who's been around for years. He's 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 made those major runs. We've seen him ve in Vegas Squadron leading by example and really great patience on that 1v2 on the site, right? His teammates cut off by utility. No one knows where he is. And he just swings off the back of Shiro throwing utility. Perfect round for Chopper. And a great bit of experience shining through on this A site. Finding Spirit Force, still a salvageable half. And yet to break through the bulging bank of Gambit that has been here all half long, but no time like the present. Three rounds left on the half, and Gambit, with a quick timeout, come back into play. What will this break have led them to believe? Where will they go? Gotta be scared a little bit if you're spirit, right? You're having to really work hard for these rounds right now. Gambit are giving you nothing for free. They are really sweating every 1vx, every 2vx. And that's when they're down men, which is not often. Wants to smoke down for Chopper early. You have that mid molly once more for spirit, but Gambit looking at a faster round towards B. Oh, I love that smoke as well. We started seeing like Na'Vi throw that as, uh, as as of recent. Throwing the mid smoke from T-Spawn on a layup means you, you can put out the mid molly. You can show that mid control without having anyone there. That mo smoke is thrown from Spawn by Gambit. So Spirit still keep two players on A. They don't know what lurks behind. Yeah, and in reality, this B push is coming in. Nafani does not fare well once again. Shut down on the short rush. And so it's down to just Shiro immediately in the 1v4 now as he nails that first shot. Often comes alive in the clutches, but a lot of angles to keep an eye on. Shiro, they are all around him. Look at that minimap. It's one little red mark in a sea of blue. Shiro looking for any way out of this round. Flash. Flashes in. There's the peak from Khan, and Sumdai Young just shuts him out. Doesn't give him a chance to navigate that in the clutch. And five now on the board for Spirit. Chopper looking real clean down yeah. here towards B. He's going to have to, right? Especially with Magic's having a bit of a slow start. You need someone to step up and fill that void. Right now, Chopper looks like the man. Yeah, good cover as well. We've seen two rounds now this T-side. Gambit have done that exact move where they run out short and they try and clear Monster first. Not looking at Pit, not looking at Heaven, not looking at CT. And and it did work earlier in the half, but now Spirit have cottoned onto it. Now they've started playing Graffiti. And in two rounds, Chopper or a player there has put up defensive kills, stopping those Monster players from dying. Oh, Mir with the spray. And now Magic's joining in as well, trying to pad his stats. The flashes go over, nice. but Magic's knocks them all down with it. Six on the board for Team Spirit. The fast B play that time doesn't work for Gambit. And we're on our way to a very competitive half after all. Considering, you know, this was 8-3 in favor of Gambit, Spirit will take a seven-round half if that's what they're able to get. Yeah, things are getting close, a little more exciting. No double up needed for Spirit. Definitely the right call right now. Like, you know, Dex can do everything you need. And we, we know those CT orbs can be very mobile on this map, very quick or rotate. So uh, he's, he's all over the place, really. Smoke thrown manually this time by Gambit. They are out in middle, but this is a default to start this last round of the half. Players on all parts of the map. You'll see how tucked Hobbit is in Connector as well. He's on a bit of a lurk, waiting for anyone to aggress. He's not going to clear Con. He's rather going to wait for his mid, uh, mid players to get in position to help him. We've seen double Con setups in the past already, so Gambit don't want to be burned by that. And with the door naded off by Spirit on short, that's exactly to stop the Con walk. Right? So many angles to clear. Boosts that can see you while you can't see them. It's not the angle Hobbit wants to walk through. So he waits as Nafani goes through the smoke, finding some Dayong on a pick. What a start. Oh, that's clean. 
Man, and now, now you're thinking about rotating players up, and that is exactly what Gambit wanted Team Spirit to do. The B play is where this is really hoping to end out, and Hobbit holding on to Connector is only good for one. Magix now realizes, but it's far too late. Orped by Shiro on the cross back into B, and Chopper, man, he's having to live up to his name, just flying around the map right now. Axile's already hidden in deep, though. Chopper, will he clear the close angle? If he doesn't, he's a dead man, and there it is. Nine to six at the end of that first half. Gambit with the lead under their belts on their map pick. Can they keep it going heading into this second half of play? and Dupree still a threat to all of the young up-and-comers. Dexter, speaking of, young up and come young up and he jumped over his head. Oh, oh and Glaive gets near. He oh. might even find him. Oh. And scopes him through the smoke. I'm losing my mind. And Dexter, oh. he wants more. And he takes him by force. Zipex, next victim on the plate. Dexter solving the riddle. He knows you're in there. And he puts the power oh. in the belly. Two behind the smoke. Bomb still loose. Glaive's actually just waiting to deny the plant if there is one. Oh. Great angle. Go on, Dexter, anymore? Looks like it's just Dexter who'd need an ace clutch to write history on the 16-0. Doesn't look like Astralis are going to go down too easy. Taps on one. They are defusing. Magisk is on it. Half defused. Needs a weapon. Finds a Glock. Finds Glaive. Two no. seconds. No. no! He's off it now! No way! Not the ace I'm clutch! Panicking. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Team Spirit, of course, surprised me a lot. They just got Dexter, and they played like one month, and they they're already showing like huge performance. So they surprised me, to be honest. And the second team is um, it's gonna be Liquid. They they change it. They just change it. Their IGL, and they're already on the semi-final. <laughs> of course, it's like you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's like dream <laughs> to change uh, your team, to change your IGL, and to be to be on the semi-final in one month. <laughs> it's interesting. <laughs> the teams like Astralis and Navi practicing a lot, doing their stuff, and um, fixing mistakes and blah blah blah, doing a lot of uh, job. And the teams like Liquid and Spirit um, switching uh, players, switching IGLs and coming to semi-final. Interesting. <laughs> And we're back, Gambit, 9-6 up, leading the charge as old friends turn enemies here in this semi-final. Gambit with uh, a pretty damn good T-side half under their belts, now moving into the CT side, Team Spirit. It took them a while to warm up into that game there. And now we're ready to head into the fray. Team Spirit, they would love a pistol round in a situation like this. Anything to help you close this gap and get closer to Gambit. Hit double flash for Nafani, but a good bit of utility for Spirit, at least out of the gate. They're going to drop Con, going quick as well. Nate to mid, but Axel isn't deterred, and he's going to hold on to this info, seeing no one get out through middle. Might be a bit of a ruse, he says to his team, as Gambit keep the B hold strong. And that might be the right call after all. Mir selling a bit of a fake down lower, up connector, they crawl, and Spirit, they're showing presence all over the map, but not making it clear where their destination lies. And his contact. Gambit had gone back to long. 
They have no information right now. They only see Mir outside of B selling this fake. And this could be a nice sneaky little play into the A site for Spirit, right? The USP is going to be dangerous, but there's only one of them here. Nafani's come back down. They're going to have to play retake here being Gambit as Spirit speed into A. Oh, Axile sees them getting closer, but the flashes are actually blind some die young. Oh, oh no, that flashbang has just ruined this pistol round. Axile dead. Well, not dead, rather, putting up kills. It's Mir desperately fighting for his life, but he's surrounded. Gambit, they put Ted up on the board. And that flashbang from Chopper, while it did blind the players in the sight, some die young. Also caught by it, caught in the crossfire. Yeah. Nafani moving through that smoke as well. I love that move, right? He rotates out of the site early. It's only Axel there. And even though he's flashed off as well, right through the smoke onto the truck, in with a double. And Nafani provides a good bit of cover, waiting for that flash to, uh, you know, fade in the face of Axel. So good stuff for Gambit. And I say that needs to be a retake. Well, Spirit don't even get onto the bomb site. That should never be happening. They made a contact play so close. Gambit don't even need the info. 10 to 6. Deagle's out. A force on the T side. It's very CIS, but is it going to be the right answer? All it could do is dig that economical hole deeper at a point like this. And Gambit, they need no more help getting rounds. Could be a 12 6 before we see a gun round for Spirit here. So pressure's on to make these Deagles worth their weight. Again, just very split up, hoping for these 1D, Shiro, 5 and 6. Not having a bad game, just not really seeing anyone, not really needing to. He's been holding his own in the positions that we uh, that we want, but no clutches needed for Gambit. The scroll wheel for Axile, that is unfortunate. Flies to the sky and Chopper puts him down a few, and now Spirit are going to group. They've got the man advantage. They know that Gambit are going to split 2-2 in a position like this, and that's exactly what they've done. Hobbit is spotting towards Monster. He will have that information ahead of time, and there's no utility other than the smoke that Mir cannot throw due to his position. It's just going to have to be a barrage, a chase into B. Hobbit with a flash, and he might be able to mow them all down. Oh, the flash, though, dodged by Dexter as the first man in. Magic's digging out another... A man down now, Gambit, looking for anything to spur them on into this retake, and they don't catch Chopper on the cross. The Molly is going to tag him down. Does just about survive, and Shiro left in the clutch, but we know what this guy's like. Tagged on that first peak, and is that going to deter Shiro? He writes this round off. He gets the hell out of there. Might have all been doable if it weren't for Sundai Young tagging him down to 9 HP, especially with that Molotov. So nearly killing Chopper. I think yeah. if that Molotov even went down half a second earlier, that is a very winnable round for Shiro. It's a big win for Spirit, though, right? Like, they saved themselves from the economical deficit, from the, the potential double scoreline that Gambit would have had before we have a gun round. And at that point, you're really hoping for things to go wrong for Gambit. Well, they have now. Spirit flipping the economy on its head, and I'm sure Gambit, who already saved a gun, will be interested in keeping this war going, forcing up once uh, again on the CT side. But it's just so much harder to get things done, right? Even though the CT side certainly favored in a sense, like now the money is out of control for Spirit. Now they've got multiple AKs, and for Gambit, they are just looking for scraps, deagles, famuses, desperate times. I think it's worth mentioning as well the recovery that we've seen out of Magics, right? He was down 0 and 7 at one point. Well, now 10 and 12. So since then, you know, going 10 to 5. That's a nice recovery. Up until then, Team Spirit, it felt like they were just a man down. He couldn't find his footing. Now building up a little more confidence is the young gun on Team Spirit. You were right, Hugo, as well. The Force by Wars is set to continue. Gambit aggressing over here at short. Whoa. Mir spam to the door, oh. taken out of the round. And Magix is caught admiring the spam. Hobbit blindsides him on the short play. And some die young knows he has to try and trade that out, so he will. At this point, Gambit is stacking heavy towards B, right? This is now the third player they've seen outside the B bomb site. It's not leaving much to the imagination. I love that little jump from Sunday Young, right? If you stand in these tunnels on, on one edge of it and you jump, you're going to be like flung to the other side. People do it to clear monster all the time. Oh, Chopper caught on short. 
And now this B play is more obvious than ever. Everyone is looking at the monster position. Sometimes Young Double Dinky with the SMG and Dex has found another. They know the Shiro was on short, so they smoke him off and try and get this plant in, but not a lot of spots that can be you know, covered from the short span and still not open to heaven. Axel is coming from that position and he's dropped the bomb as well with another tag. Sunday Young is low and Shiro is just waiting for his chance to go through the smoke. He's not needed. It's the force by war found once again by Gambit as they buy right back i did not think they were going to be able to pick that one up but great trading up on short right me with a spam dies just without seeing his opponent and hobbit even aggresses off the back of that with a perfect timing like gambit is so in sync so reactive and spirit well tempting once again to keep it going but with every force by war that comes on it gets harder and harder for you to keep it up Yeah, Sundar Young is at least up onto an AK as a result of getting away with so many MP9 kills. His money was good. Other than that, everyone else is on pistol armor. So this force fight, not up to scratch when you think about what Gambit were able to bring into the round prior. Chopper, fast out through middle. Nobody here to keep him in check, keep him in line, and he gets pretty deep. There is still a comp player in the form of Hobbit. Magix needs to clear this close angle. And it can all come down to timings. Hobbit hits a favorable one on the swing and even then sees players over at short. So once again, the alarm bells are ringing for Gambit, anticipating a B play, but this maybe gives Chopper that much more room to work his magic over here at long. Getting deep. Axile is considering the possibility that there could be a long player, right? No one's been keeping an eye on this side of the map. And so he's repositioned at the perfect timing to worry about this long corner. Chopper. If this came a few seconds oh. earlier, he probably gets Axile there. But remaining patient, waiting for his team to get a little bit closer, proves to be his downfall. Yeah, Hobbit thinks he has a good timing there, and the reason is how cho uh, how deep Chopper is, but Spirit is so late out mid at the 30-second mark. He was hoping to backstab. Instead, he sees them coming up, and now Inters knows notices them going down. 10 seconds to plant, almost insurmountable odds, and without the entry, there's no hope in hell here for Team Spirit. Gambit bite right back, and they take a 12th, finally putting a rest to these constant rebuys that we've seen on either side, and now we look at the result of that, right? If Spirit just, you know, lost their first rifle or lost their first force round, it would have been 12-6 before they buy. Well, now it's going to be 13-7. Not really much better if you, you know, consider the fact that Gambit are now one step closer to their map pick being taken. And Spirit have to full eco. There's no ifs and buts about it. More money, more rounds, and more confidence for Gambit. Not that they need either of the three. And that nade's short again. Just puts a bit of fear in a connected player while Shiro tucks in. Also, Nafani continuing to jump spot. Considering Hobbit has short, well, his back is covered and Nafani can come to Shiro when and how to play aggressive. No need though. Spirit of up and left the connector. They're going to group monster. This is a near impossible round to even make interesting. So charging five players out through a choke point is probably your best bet. Oh, in they go, like lambs to the slaughter, Inters. Ready and waiting to pad these stats up a little bit. Him and Hobbit just laying waste to the B play and it never even gets close. Gambit up to 13 and now we've got that buy round coming in. But if this one doesn't find success for Team Spirit, yeah. that could be the end of this map. All neatly tied up by this Gambit squad. But you know they've been waiting for this gun round all half long, right? And we're six rounds deep, so they certainly have something to show us. Sundar Young, he does have something to show us. That's a P90. Not the most standard bar right. when you're down 13-7. All right, hey, Sundar Young, you've got my attention yeah, now. I'll watch it before I judge it. What's he thinking of doing? Be What's this mental guy going to try and do? Oh, here he is. <laughs> he's smiling on the face cam. He knows what he's got. <laughs> oh. Can he paint us a pretty picture? Can he do his artwork here on the push up through short court oh. by Khan and the P90 never gets anything done. Shiro still here holding this crossfire oh. and he absolutely dismantles the B play in with oh. a third as well. And Shiro, oh, the B side belongs to him. 14 to seven, the money now gone again for Team Spirit. We needed some kind of result in that round there. And all they get 
But that entire investment is one kill on the Hobbit. Naphany is, is in their scrapbook and he's he's peeling out photos right now, Harry. This guy knows what's going on. Gamut could not have been set up better for a short B play if they tried. Jump spotting Naphany, Shiro orping close, Hobbit in the connector watching with the door blown off. Like they were just ready for that. There's no way Spirit were gonna win that round with the setup from Gambit, and now they're down and All right, guys, pistols. do it again. And yeah. maybe this time they're not so ready for it. <laughs> Surely not twice in a row, right? And at least no one's in con this time, but that could change. Flash is over. Fast in they go, but that's actually after or before the flash rather hopping in one. Still blind, it's still successful and still turning on a dime to find the third. He can't do it. Chopper doubles up and will be able to grab himself an AK. Can he plant in time? These rotates are taking exactly that. And Gambit know that Spirit could be deep as well, but Spirit are still scared of short. They're looking the wrong way. They don't know. They're so fearful of the connector, which has been played every round of this half. And in the one round, it's not. Gambit creep into success. Oh, yeah. Chopper cancelled out. Dexter. Trying to live up to the Shiro Clutch Minister on the other side. 1v2. Tucked in over here towards water. There's that first peek in. Shiro deleted. Axile not able to stand the test of time either. As Dexter saves the day. Eight on the board for Team Spirit. And it's thanks to that man in the 1v2 that they're even still afloat yeah. over on this T side. I'm glad we have some show of clutches, some show of face for Spirit as well, up in the, the face of adversity, right? This is the team that's seen one of Astralis for crying out loud for Gambit. To make the mincemeat would be quite the victory. And so Spirit, at least holding on in this game, but it's going to be one hell of a comeback if they can perform it. And I'll believe it when I see it. Gambit have had some great reads, some great calls, and the individuals are showing up as well. My, oh my, Spirit. Well, they've got the orb, right? They, they salvage their money. They stay above water. But for how long? Yeah, I think one of the biggest problems you have with Gambit is is the calling for them this event has just been incredible. Like in that matchup versus Na'Vi yesterday, they were able to, to to change decisions like on the fly, right? It felt like they would have a game plan. And the moment Na'Vi felt like they found a hole in, in the Gambit game plan, well, it was patched up like the next round, you know, like you can't keep exploiting something against these guys. We've got the boost going on here. Yeah, they, uh, they did it wrong. They, yeah, they didn't have enough players either. They I'm didn't have sure. someone yeah. on the fence to boost the orb. Yeah. yeah. Well, they had other ideas in mind. <laughs> oh, there we go. All calculated, all to perfect. No question about it. And now Sunday is going, yeah, that's why I didn't go on the boost. Look at me, finding an opener. And, well, it was worth it, but what would they do with it? When Gamut got B picks on the T side, they would be, you know, either rushing straight in off the back of that, you can't really do it with a nade like that, or they'd be full resetting and grouping A, and that's seemingly what Spirit are doing with some of their players. Falling on the bench makes noise. Axel hears that, and he creeps through the smoke for Chopper's watching it. It doesn't matter. Axel gets the kill. Chopper was blinded from Dexter down at B. Oh, we've seen that from time to time from Spirit, and it's not what they need. Back to B they go, but Gambit have not shuffled any rotates round with mid being their domain still. Shiro's here with the AWP as well. Yeah, it's scary, right? They actually just brought Shiro down from the A bomb site. So even though you killed Naphany here earlier on, there's still three stacked up in B for Gambit. Cool. Inters might fall at the first hurdle, but with Hobbit and Shiro here, you've still got capable hands left to try and maneuver this round. Ooh. Hobbit got off the one. And so Shiro, ooh, it's closed. Dexter actually killing oh. here. And the nade rains in from oh. heaven. Axile onto 15. Oh, it's a disaster. The TK to get the trade. It's still, I mean, Shiro takes those, right? It's two for one in his favor. <laughs> that was a mess in every way. And, I, and somehow Gambit win it. That, that makes the team kill the worst case scenario. It might not have mattered if Spirit won the round, but shooting your teammate in the back of the head and look at the cost. Oh, you can't even blame him. That's a lineup. That looked there. And then swinging in at the last second. And now Gambit have 15. Axel with a 1v2 as quick as they come. And Spirit, while talking fast, they've got something up their sleeve. Yeah, quick into B. It's been a bit of a hit and miss strategy for them. They try to wrap Hobbit and they deal with him, but the spam is still coming in. Gambit, they're looking to take this one over the line right here, right now. Just Chopper left and up against the world. 1v3, down into short side. Axel removed. And now he's given a lot more room to play around with. Does have that bomb still on his back and a 1v2 left to find Naphany. 
Going aggressive in the monster tunnel. Does this give the kill over? Yes, it does. And now it's the 1v1. Shiro on the other side. Is this where he puts a game-winning clutch up on the tally? Or is the game set to trickle on? Shiro also aggressing in the monster tunnel. <laughs> Chopper hasn't moved, hasn't skipped a beat. He's still worried about it. Shiro deep on the angle, but Chopper closes it out. Four in the round and a 1v3 for Chopper to keep team spirit in this. Oh, that is huge. And Gamba played it pretty well as well. So Chopper's got to be very happy about that. The, the escape out short, he does so much damage to one of the players on the site and doesn't even try and finish it. Chases Axel on the con rotate. He knows that Gambit have, you know, foaming at the mouth. They're, they're ready to close the map. They're at a three on one. And he uses that to his advantage very well. Gambit, lost opportunity perhaps. And while they have many more, we don't want this game to get too close. It's one flash on Hobbit and another on Axel. They're going to try and aggress with these, I presume, through the monster tunnel. There it goes. And here come Gambit. Straight through the smoke. Sunday Young. Oh, the bullets just get churned up into their opponents. And even though the metal eats some of the punch, it doesn't matter. Dex is there with a the pistol and spirit. That was only going to ever be their round. But it might have to be one more before Gambit can rebuy. Spirit winning that clutch has really dug them out of a, of a, of a pickle here. It's going to be 15-11, I presume, before Gambit have guns. And at that point, four-round comeback into OT, certainly not undoable. Oh, especially with another eco for Gambit. I do like the decision, though, right? Instead of trying to, you know, like, Cobble buys together where maybe there isn't money to do so. You keep it nice and light, knowing that you've still got room to play with. And you know, while you can always look to buy guns, you can't buy more time in this game. And so they play it safe. This B play is coming in. The nades, nades stack, looking to do damage, doesn't find anything. This is only pistols that Team Spirit are up against, uh -oh. and it's still a three on three. Some die young is very, very low as well. The double push out through the water, luckily enough, gives you an in. And that is Team Spirit Ooh. onto 11. They get that round past Gambit, closing the gap more and more. Gambit put a lot of faith in this buy round. They really set themselves up to have everything they could possibly need. And so this is where Gambit are hoping to close this game out. And this is where the calling gets really hard, because if you're Spirit, what have you actually done this half? Rushed B. That's pretty much it. Like, we haven't seen many successful A takes. Their contact plays up short have been denied. They haven't even touched long either. So, you know, you've only got the mid, uh, the, the B play to rely on. There's that smoke that we see for the Molotov. It actually comes in early, though. The timing is bad. It will bloom, at least. Looked like it was going to bounce over. Oh, it got scary for a second. Spirit get out mid at least, and they're not running the gun towards B in such an important round. Shiro with the AWP as well, sat back towards A long. Hoping they finally come his way, and they may. Chopper's looking at that position. Shiro, Shiro even goes one step further. But without anyone in the toilets, this is a very dangerous spot to be, and you are committed, and you can get cleared from both sides. Shiro's got to pick one, and he's chosen long, rightly so. Flashes are up, and these T's start to move in very loud as well. Can Shiro realistically escape, or is he going to have to turn on a dime and get these 180s? Shiro is, is really threading the needle with this position, right? You, you, you're bang on. Either he manages to elude capture from all these Team Spirit players that are closing in, or he gets blindsided. Nobody's checked the toilets instead. They're boosted up on long. Shiro. Oh, he hears the drop down. Chopper is just offered up for free on a silver platter. And Shiro lives to tell the tale. They trade one for one down in B, but it's still to the advantage of Gambit, to the dismay of Team Spirit. And an early rotation into this B bomb site from Axile, leaving Shiro to anchor A alone. It's a three on three B play for Team Spirit. They sneak in, they get under oh. the crosshair of Inters. He doesn't realize that they're in so deep. There he is with the trade at least. And now two down in water. Is this something that Team Spirit are ready for? Sundar Young gives that kill away and it's all left on to Dexter to try to step up in the clutch. Very little time and he can't get the kills. Gambit, they take their map pick 16 to 11. They put it all on the back of one by round and it finds them success.